Do you feel like you're back to normal? Yeah, I'm feeling great. Feeling really good. And, uh, had a great practice yesterday. Feeling good with all of everything. All, no movement, no issues. What did? Um, what is the fact that you naming RG3 the the starter and kind of getting that out of the way uh, in advance of the first preseason game? What does that do for you guys uh, on that side of the ball? I think it just allows everybody to get the reps with one person instead of rotating and stuff. It just allows everybody to get in sync together, and I think that's a huge part of a team. It comes together as one team, and uh, everybody's really looking forward to it. Did you? What did you think about RG3? Or what did you know about him before he got here? And then what have you learned about him since he's been here? Uh, I didn't really know much before. I don't really don't pay attention to other teams or anything. But uh, since he's been here, he's been a true leader. He's embraced it, and uh, he's doing a great job with everything. He's learning. Everybody's learning. It's a new offense for everybody. So everybody's doing a good job with that. And uh, he's really embraced the leadership role. What are your impressions of some of the other tight ends uh, in the room? They, yeah, just positionally right now, it seems to be a couple of guys who are just having themselves pretty good camp. Yeah, they're doing a good job. Uh, we have a bunch of young guys, and they're all eager to learn. And then they're really, they're really grabbing onto everything and trying to learn all the, the finer details of the position and the offense, and they're really taking a hold of it. Uh, and I'm excited to see how everybody plays in the preseason game. Did you see this potential in Connor? last year when he was here just for a couple weeks at the end? Uh, I think you, you see some in everybody when they come out because they obviously don't get they get limited reps because he was on the practice squad, so he got limited reps. But I think when his catching ability hasn't changed. He was still blocking the same way. So I think he's doing a good job, but then he's just embracing that opportunity. Gary, have you imagined the possibilities with you and Terrell, Corey Coleman, uh, Josh Gordon coming back? Have you kind of let yourself uh, fantasize a little bit about what that might look like? Oh, it's exciting. It's, it's an exciting time because uh, it's just going to be a lot of fun out there. Um, you really can't worry about, like, just thinking, oh, this is how it's going to be, this is what it's going to do, because you never know. You just got to be ready to go no matter what happens, and you just got to be ready for it. And I think we're really embracing all the guys. It's not just certain guys. We're embracing everybody out there, and the whole offense is excited about it. You've been through a number of head coaches. What makes you different? Uh, all the head coaches I've had have been good. I'm not, there's nobody that's been a bad head coach. Um, he's very energetic. Like He wants everything done now. He doesn't want to change it tomorrow, not next week, not next year. He wants to change it now. And I think everybody's buying into that and truly embracing it. And you're seeing that with all the guys. The way practice is going, how fast everything's going, everybody's really embracing it. Do you like having an offensive-minded head coach, especially one that is so hands-on as he was? Uh, I think he's doing a great job with that. Like, uh, it is definitely different because ha I've had both. I've had offense and defensive-minded coaches. And uh, offense-minded, they're going to give you all the little small details that other defensive head coaches might not see. Or really, they leave that to other coaches. And then you have the offense coordinator or, some, or your position coach teaching you that stuff. But the fact that he's out there doing it, it makes it so much easier and, and easier for all the guys to truly understand it. Uh, I honestly, we don't really worry about all that stuff. That's their decision, and we're excited about it. We're excited to get out there on the field and working all together. What are you seeing in him that, you know, that makes you think he'll be successful? Truly embracing the leadership role. He's doing a great job with it, and uh, he's really learning the offense and really taking a full grasp of it. Do you think you two have a, a pretty good chemistry? I know you've been in and out a little bit, but are you mm -hmm. developing? I think everybody is. Uh, everybody's, he's doing a good job spreading the ball around, and everybody's getting that thing. And that's the thing. That's what training camp's for. We're trying to get timing with all the quarterbacks because you never know what's going to happen. So I think just getting timing in general. In the OTAs and minicamp, there looked to be a couple of times where there, you know, where he go in your direction, the ball maybe wasn't where it needs to be in that. Is that probably one of the biggest things? that you've noticed here early in camp that the, the ball is a little more on target for you and it's a, an easier catch for you, so to speak? I think a lot of it is uh, just in learning the offense because we're all trying to figure out where we got to end up. He's putting the ball where it needs to go, and we're trying to figure out as receivers and tight ends and running backs where we need to end up on our route. And I think that's just all coming on the same page. I don't think there's a certain way he's throwing or anything. I think it's just all coming together with the offense in general. Yeah, it seems like you, you and Connor Hamlet, I mean, two tight ends, what can you guys do together for this all, all of our tight ends are doing a good job. Uh, we can't single out one guy because everybody's doing good. Uh, obviously, he's made some plays out there, scoring a couple of touchdowns and stuff, but all the tight ends are really embracing our role in the offense, and they're all doing a really good job with it. How do you feel like uh, Terrell Pryor is coming along as a receiver? 
he's doing a good job. He's making strides. And uh, obviously, all the guys are still learning the offense because that's huge. Like, everybody's still in the learning mode because that's what training camp's all about. It's learning the finer details of all, all the offense. Hey, Gary, uh, I think that, you know, on the outside, looking at you guys in practice, you know, I see three right tackles and nine practices with the starting offense. And I think it's natural to wonder if that should be a concern. You know, several guys going in and, you know, as opposed to just one guy, um, be, you know, being the solution right away. How do you view that situation? Is it a concern in your mind? I don't think it's a concern at all because it's given all these guys an opportunity to show what they can do. And I used this as an analogy the other day. Last year when we tight ends, when Jordan left, everybody's like, oh, they don't have a tight end. It gave me an opportunity to show what I could do. And they're just giving all the tackles an opportunity to show what they can do and find out who it's going to be. And I think they're embracing that role and they're really having fun with it.